Uh, welcome all my dear friends of your program Sarah Tapawak. Today we will have a new episode, a special episode as I promised you before. Uh, this episode will, uh, uh, will be related to uh, what we have studied in science in the primary and the primary stage. So let's start this uh, episode with uh, our new friends today who are present with us in the studio. Uh, let's uh, introduce uh, themselves and let's uh, uh, welcome uh, them. Uh, so let's start with the first one. What's your name? I'm Matthew. I am in prem stage. Okay, welcome Matthew. I'm Saif in the prem stage. Welcome Saif. Karim in prem stage. Karim, welcome Karim. Mm -hmm. Mirola in prem stage. Welcome Mirola, the only girl with us today. So uh, let's uh, divide you. So I will divide you to two teams. You will be the first team, Matthew and Saif. Karim and Mirola will be the second team, okay? So let's start with the first question. We will read the first question or, or the question and you will have uh, about uh, 20 or 15 seconds to understand the question, uh, to concentrate. So please uh, read the question carefully. Okay, so we, we, today we have a competition, not an exam. Okay, so today the first question says that the gas which is responsible for, the gas which is responsible for global warming. Global warming is a very important thing. الغاز مسؤول عن احتباس الحراري هو هيدروجين اكسجين كربون دايوكسيد نيتروجين اجين ذا كويستشن سيز ذا غاز ويتش از ريسبونسبل فور جلوبال وارمينج هيدروجين اكسجين هيدروجين اكسجين كربون دايوكسيد اور نيت سو ليتس ستارت وذ ذا فيرست تيم يا يو كان كونسنتريت كربون دايوكسيد كربون دايوكسيد يس سيف شور اكسلنت Carbon dioxide is the gas which is responsible for the global world. So you answered before the time stops. Bravo, you see this. So again, the gas which is responsible for uh, global warming is carbon dioxide. And we know that carbon dioxide has the least, the least percentage in air. I think it's a in carbon dioxide. It's a little bit of the air. It's a little bit of carbon dioxide? 0.03. 0.03%. Very good. Excellent. So we can revise what we have said in gases. Can anyone tell me what is that percentage of oxygen gas, for example? 70. The oxygen. Hmm? Mm. Oxygen. Uh, oxygen. Uh, uh, 21. 21%. So what about nitrogen? Mirolla, what about nitrogen? Yeah. Nitrogen? Hmm? 0 0.7. Nitrogen, 70. 78%. 78%. So excellent. Very good, said very good, uh, Matthew. So the first team will have one point now, okay? So let's uh, have another question for the second team, okay? Second team. The question says, number of nerves, number of nerves inside the human body. Number of nerves inside the human body is, wait, wait, Karim, wait, Karim. 12 pairs, 31 pairs, 43 pairs, 50 pairs. Again, number of nerves inside the human body is 12 pairs, 31 pairs, 43 pairs, 50 pairs. 43. 43 pairs. Okay, Karim, don't uh, hold the mic, okay? Don't hold the mic. Okay, so the question again says, number of nerves inside the human body is 43 pairs. Why, Karim, you answer this question? Leave 43. Because, uh, because uh, when, uh, 12 and uh, 12. Bravo, very good. Excellent, Karim. 12 pairs, we call them the nerve of the brain, our brain nerves, our cranial nerves, our sub mochea. We can mean 31 pairs in some of spinal nerves. So if we add 12 pairs plus 31 pairs, they will be 43 pairs of nerves. We have 43 pairs of nerves, 43 pairs of nerves. 12 pairs of nerves, we call them cranial nerves. We have 31 pairs. من سميها spinal nerves خارج من spinal cord. So excellent, Karim. Second team will have another point. So now we will have one point for the first team, one point for the second team. Okay. So the third question, third question for the first team. Okay. I will read the question and you will answer when the timer stops. يعني هنجاوب لما العد يوقف. Okay. The question says, the discoverer of gravity is scientist Watson. Langerhans, Marconi, Isaac Newton. Again, wait, wait. Take your time, okay? Put what a question is out. Again, the question. What does he give? Okay. <laughs> okay, the, the question says The discoverer of gravity, the discoverer of gravity is the scientist Watson, Langerhans, 
ماركوني ايزاك نيوتن So let's let's start the timer now. نبدا العد دلوقتي. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. You answered before the timer. استنى يا مرسي ليه مستعجل؟ Don't be in rush, okay? So again, the question says the discoverer of the gravity is scientist Isaac Newton. هو Isaac Newton فعلا مرسي برافو. So the first team will have two point now. Second team still have one point. Okay? So again, another question for second team. The question says, the natural magnet, the natural magnet is one of the iron ores called hematite, magnetite, lematite, pellet. Again, we have four choices, magnetite, or so, sorry, hematite number one, magnetite, lematite, pellet. The natural magnet is one of the iron ores called what? We have 19 seconds, 18, 17. So concentrate the second team, wait, wait, Karim. Don't answer before the timer. Look here. 12, 10, 9. The timer is going to take a few minutes and focus on it. Okay? We will answer after the timer. Okay? So again, the question says, Natural magnet is one of the iron ores called? Magnetite. Magnetite. Very good. Magnetite is a kind of magnet that we call it the magnetite. Or natural magnet or magnetite. Okay? So again, natural magnet is one of the iron ores called? Okay? So again, natural magnet is one of the iron ores called? called magnetite. So now I will ask another question uh, related to this question. The question says, how many poles are there in the magnet? Are you magnet fee camp pool? Fee camp pool? Two. Two poles. What are they, Mirala? Uh, positive and negative. No. Positive and negative electricity. Kaharaba. Hmm? Oh. Hmm? Uh, magnet has two poles. I, uh, know it was, uh, North pool. Very good, Karim. North pool and south pool. Excellent, Karim. Excellent, second team. So now we will have two points for second team and two points also for the first team. Okay. So again, I remind you of a car company. The magnet has only two pools, uh, north pool and south pool. So another question of give reason question. Give reason why is the north pool is called by this name. This is north pool. This is doubt. This is mean north pool. Two pools. يعني لو في ماجن كده على قناه نظمي كده هانج تريلي ليه سمينا ده نورث ده ساوس ايش معناه ليه مو انرجي نورث ده ساوس ليه ما حكسناش فكر شويه تيك يور تايم كونسنتريت يس ماسيو بيكوز اف وي ليت ات ذا نورث بول ويل جو تو ذا نورث اكسلنت ماسيو فيري جود وندرفول بما ماتش سيد ذات بيكوز اف وي هانج ذا ماجنت فريلي One pool will point to the north, and the other will point to the south. يعني لو علنا المجلد بشكل حر في point أو في pool بيشاور ناحية النورث زي ما قال ماسيو will go and زي ما أحسن will point to يشاور إلى to the north, and the other will point to the south. So again, each magnet has two pools: the north pool and the south pool. Okay. So another question for the first team. That's your turn. First team. The question says number of ribs inside the rib cage. Of the human body is 28 reps, 26 reps, 24 reps, 20 reps. So let's start the timer now. Let that are dead. Okay, concentrate. You will have you will have 25 seconds. Bad lad. And go bad lad. Then we will get it Okay. So the number of reps inside the rib cage of the human body is 28 reps. 26 reps, 24 reps, 20 reps. Rib cage and the upper sidey. And I will only add the dolu only in the upper sidey. Okay. Okay. You will have two seconds, one second. You can answer now. 24. Why? Why 24 reps? Because the human cage is 24. Or consists of 12 pairs. We can say it's 12 pairs. How many? 12 zoom. Can you see 12 pairs like that? You mean? Or 12 shimmer? So we can say it's 24 ribs or 12 pairs. So I will ask you another question, like this question. What is the function of the rib cage? It was just a rib cage. To protect. Protect. It protects the. The lungs from the heart. From damage, very good. It protects the two important organs or three important organs inside your body. What they are, the heart and the two lungs. So again, the rib cage is a very important part of the 
skeleton هو جزء مهم جدا من الهيكل العظمي that protects the heart and the two lungs so again the, second, the first team has three points now because he answered the question correctly they said that the number of ribs inside the cage or inside the rib cage of the human body is 24 ribs excellent the first team that's the turn of the second team okay second team you are ready the question says the organ of the body connecting between mouth and ear it's a strange question we didn't study it langer hands islands stachyus canal cerebellum cerebrum again بيقول لي في عضو مهم جدا يمكن اول مره اسمع عنه that connecting between بيوصل ما بين mouth and ear الفم والاذن هو عضو داخلي من الفم للاذن يعني بيكون شوفوا كده بعينينا المجرده هو ايه هو بنسميه langer hands islands stachyus canal cerebellum or cerebrum hmm. wait كريم take your time you will have nine seconds now seven seconds you can answer after the timer stops Again, the question says the organ of the body connecting Cerebellum. between the mouth and ear. Cerebellum. Cerebellum. Again, the organ of the body connecting between the mouth and ear. Again, the choices are Langerhans Islands, Stachyus Canal, Cerebellum, Cerebrum. You can't answer this question. Uh, number two. Number two is Stachyus Canal. Yes, Kareem, excellent. It will be Stachyus Canal, or Canal Stachyus, the Canal in Samiha. قناة ستاكيوس على اسم مكتشفها ودي بتوصل ما بين الفم والاذن ودي مهمة جدا انها تعمل بالانس في البريشر اللي بيقع على الاير درام او طبلة الاذن. اوكي؟ عشان كده في الجيش مثلا فور اكزامبل لو حد بيستخدم سلاح المدفعية طلقات قوية جدا من صوتها لازم يفتح بقه كويس قوي عشان البريشر الداخل على الاير درام يساوي ان البريشر الناحية الثانية فهي اللي بتعمل توازن في البريشر من ناحيتين. اتفقنا؟ يبقى في حاجة مهمة جدا And inside our mouth that connected between the mouth and the ear, it's called a stachyus canal. قناة بنسميها قناة stachyus دي قناة مهمة جدا ليها وظيفة مهمة جدا إنها تعمل balance the pressure on both sides of the ear drum. Okay, so we'll have three points for the first team and what for the second team? Okay, Karim, you are almost to lose your point, but you correct your answer at the last time. Okay, so again the organ of the body connecting between the ear and the mouse it is the stachyus canal and it's a very important uh, canal that make the pressure palated on both sides of the ear drum so another question for the first team first team wake up first team you are with me okay the question says the organ of the body responsible for producing sound mouth tongue larynx pharynx again the organ the organ of the body that is responsible for producing sound mouth tongue larynx pharynx you will have timer now 20 seconds again concentrate first team you still have three points up till now okay the organ في عضو مسؤول عن producing sound انتاج الصوت في عضو هو اللي بيطلع الصوت mouth الفم tongue الثام larynx الحنجرة pharynx البرعوم You can answer now. Larynx. Larynx. Hangara. Very good. So give reason. Give reason. Larynx produce sound. Why not mouth? Larynx and mouth. So larynx is the thing that is very important to produce sound. Is it not? Or two of them are out. Half second team, you know. First team, safe. Okay. So the larynx contains two vocal cords. الحنجرة فيها حبلين بنسميهم الأحبال الصوتية أو الحبلين الصوتيين. They can vibrate هما اللي بيتهزوا and to produce sound. So again, the larynx is a very important organ inside your body that produces sound. Why or give reason? Because it contains two vocal cords that produce or that produces sound. So again, uh, first team will have four points after now and second team will have three points. Still, okay. So again, the question says the organ that produces sound is the larynx. Why or give reason? Because it contains two vocal cords. Another question. First team. The question says points or space provides satellites with electricity. Dry cell, sample cell, solar cell generator. So again. هنا بيقول لي مين هو اللي بيمد الساتلايت او القمر الصناعي بالكهرباء؟ هل ممكن نحط له دراي سيل؟ يعني بطاريه، سامبل سيل البطاريه برضه او العمود البسيط ده نوع ثاني من البطاريات، 
solar cell خلايا شمسية generator مولد take your time مير الله you concentrate you will have 20 seconds and after them you can answer the question says dry cell sample cell or solar cell or generator at last provides satellites with electricity you will have six seconds four three two one you can answer now solar cell solar cell say sure because the lights are uh, swimming in the space so they can use solar cell to produce electricity. so i can answer you another question in this topic uh, solar cell changes what energy into what energy uh, solar cell electric, 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 electric mechanical, mechanical? No. Me mechanical how come the solar solar uh, to, uh, to electric yeah sure massive very good excellent solar cell can change <coughs> or can change sorry solar energy or light energy into electric how come safe mechanical into electric there is no mechanical energy in the solar cell so again solar cell changes the solar energy or the light energy into what into electricity because we need electricity to generate or to uh, work or to operate the satellites okay so another question for the first team first team what how, what, how many points do you have four four second four. team four? four okay so the question says they carry blood from heart to all body parts arteries veins blood capillaries blood platelets Let's start with the timer. Again, the question says they carry blood from heart to all body parts. Arteries, veins, blood, capillaries, blood platelets. You can answer after 15 seconds. Concentrate the first team, Matthew and Steve. The question says they carry blood from heart to all body parts. Arteries, veins, Blood platelets or blood capillaries? Arches. Arches, Shareen, very good. So we know that the blood vessels are three types. They are arches, Shareen, veins, Laureda, and at last the blood capillaries. So what is the uh, what is the type that carry blood from all body parts to the heart? It will be the veins. But what is the type that carry blood from heart to all the body parts? Arches. So they will be the arches, Shareen, as safe answered now so what about the blood capillaries we know that blood capillaries connect between the end of arteries and the beginning of veins they are a very important lesson that we have aside in primary hmm? do you remember primary, six. primary six. five six. no no primary we started five. the system in primary five okay so again they carry blood from all from sorry heart to all body parts they would be the arteries so you will have how many points now? First team, five points, it's done. So second team, okay, wake up. The question says, the largest artery in the human body, warta artery, pulmonary artery, lung artery, renal artery. So I'll be only the largest artery. Okay, yes, Mark. Warta artery, shoreni warta, pulmonary artery, shoreni el re'awi, Long artery, renal artery, now you have time, okay, concentrate, take your time, the question says again, the largest artery in the human body, in the warta artery, pulmonary artery, lung artery, renal artery, again we have 10 seconds, 9, 8, Seven. You can answer after one second. Say answer three. Aorta artery. Aorta artery. Yes, aorta artery. Australian aorta is the largest artery in our body, and we call it in Arabic. We say, "Mika nam balogh Arabiya." It's one of the biggest or the bigger, the most important artery in the body. It's responsible for making the blood flow to the blood vessels in all the body cells from the uh, left ventricle and we have started this all this lesson in primary five as I said again as I said before because it's a very important lesson please revise this again okay I'm like I'm not telling about
درس مهم جدا درس الهارت والبلاد فيزرز والبلاد سيركليشن درس نفسنا كام؟ خمسة 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 يجب أن تاني أوكي؟ so now you will have how many points first team؟ five second team؟ five أوكي another question for the first team the question says a gas used by the green plant a gas used by the green plant in photosynthesis process في غاز مهم جدا بيستخدمه النبات أثناء عملية البناء الضوء nitrogen oxygen Carbon dioxide, hydrogen. Again, the question says, let's start with the timer. So I'll be only gas you start on as a photosynthesis process. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. It is the only gas to respiration that has mutual tenafus. And it acts at tenafus. Okay? A gas used by green plants in photosynthesis process. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. You can answer. After five seconds from now, okay, the gas which is used in the in photosynthesis process. You can answer now, Steve. Uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, first team, Matthew answers the question correctly. He said that carbon dioxide is the gas which is used in photosynthesis process. And you know that carbon dioxide is a very important gas, although its percentage is very, very small in air. And we know that, again, the percentage of carbon dioxide gas, hmm, how? Can carbon dioxide? 0.03%. 0.03%. Okay? And it's a very, very little percentage in air uh, compared by any, uh, any other gas. But although of this, it's a very important gas in photosynthesis process. Okay? So, again, the gas which is used in green plants or, or by green plants in photosynthesis process is the carbon dioxide gas. Another question. The question says for the first team, a gas used by man for respiration. A gas used by man for respiration. Guys, you start them. Was it insane? I'll be starting with insane. Little tenafos. I think it's a very easy question. Okay. Respirate nitrogen, sorry. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, and at last hydrogen gas. Again, let's start the timer. Nibda ilad. Again, the gas which is used by man for respiration. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. Hydrogen. So you can answer after 20 seconds from now. Mirolla or Karim will answer this question. Mirolla, okay. The question says again, again, sorry, a gas used by man for respiration, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. So you can answer after two seconds from now. Mirolla, you can answer. Oxygen. Oxygen gas. Can you tell me, Mirolla, how uh, or how much is the percentage of oxygen gas? Hmm? 30%? No, no, no. Hmm, hmm. 20? Hmm? 20, 20, 21%. Oxygen gas occupies 21% of the air volume and it is the second gas, how it has a in the volume after nitrogen. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas. After it has a dosage of nitrogen, it will be uh, 78%. So again, oxygen gas is used in respiration by man. Oxygen gas is used in respiration by man and we know oxygen gas is very important in respiration. Why? Because we need oxygen gas to burn the food inside our body. You know that? Okay, I think we're out in the oxygen so that we can get the body from it and give us energy or release energy during the respiration process. And also, oxygen gas is used in another process. What is it? The oxygen body is used in a very important thing. What is it? Other than respiration. Photosynthesis. No. Uh, process, yeah, burning process. Very good, Matthew. Excellent. Uh, burning process or combustion process needs oxygen gas like respiration. But for the process, safe, please concentrate. Need carbon dioxide. You need carbon dioxide. Okay, and again, they give, are the opposite to each other. How max Respiration and burning need oxygen gas, but for the process, need carbon dioxide gas. Okay? So, how many points each team? Hmm? First team? Six. six points, second team, six points. So that's the turn of the first team. The question says, the smallest muscle in the human body, the smallest muscle in the human body is biceps, triceps, you know the muscles, biceps or triceps, you know them? Okay. Ear loop, heart. The smallest muscle in the human body is biceps, Triceps, ear loop, heart. Let's start the timer now. The smallest muscle in the human body is biceps. 
الترايسبس العضله الثلاثيه ايه اللوب شحمه الاذن اللي بيكون فيها الحلق عند الجيرلز صح كده يا مرولا هارت القلب سو اجين ذا كويشن سيز ذا سمولست ماسل ان ذا هيومن بادي از ذا بايسبس ترايسبس اير لوب هارت اير لوب يو كان انسر نو تيك يور تايم يو كان انسر افتر ذا تايمر ستوبس اوكي The smallest muscle in the in the human body, other other of the human being, biceps, triceps, ear, loop, heart. You can answer after five seconds from now. Who will answer? Mercy or safe? Safe, okay. Ear loop. Yeah, safe. Ear loop. Our shoulder to ozone is the smallest muscle in the human body. So I will answer you another question, like this topic. How many type of muscle do we have in our body? We can normal muscles for this man. Can normal is how many? Four. Mm. Four. Two. What are they? Hmm? In Arabic, حتى لو أنت مش عارفها بالإنجليزي. Four biceps, uh, triceps, uh, hair. We have, we have many muscles, many, many, many muscles. But I want the type. يعني بتحرك لعضاء وإحنا بنقصد محرك. خايس أي بعض عضاء بنسميها عضاء إرادية بنسميها voluntary muscles. عضاء بنسميها لا إرادية involuntary muscles. You know that? We have studied this in primary six. Do you remember? درسنا السنة السابقة أو في الصف الثالث إن في نوعين من الماسلز نوع بنسميه voluntary muscles عضلات إرادية like the face muscles the abdomen muscles the muscle of the limbs and so on the عضلات الساق أو الوجه أو الأطراف and we have another type of muscle which is called involuntary muscles okay عضلات لا إرادية زي عضلات for example the heart we cannot control the heart حد يقدر يوقف عضلة القلب؟ ما ينفعش We cannot control the muscle of the stomach, the muscle of the intestine, the muscle of the uh, all digestive system. They are all muscle or all blood vessels. كل دي عضلات ما ينفعش أوقفها أو أقدر أغير سرعتها أو أقدر أغير حركتها لأنها عضلات بنسميها involuntary muscles أو عضلات لا إرادية. Okay? So we have two types of muscles that they are voluntary muscles, عضلات إرادية, and involuntary muscles, عضلات لا إرادية. So Matthew, I will ask you another question. Uh, this question will be in French, okay? What is the in French? I know that you are a French What is the name of French? What is the name of French? What is the name of French? Um. Hmm. Is it enough? And then the English will be voluntary muscles or involuntary muscles. Okay. Be ready after uh, after five minutes. I will ask you again. Okay. If the camera is So another question. The question says. For the second team or the first team now? Hmm? First team. First team? That's your turn? No. no. Safe, don't be cheating. <laughs> okay. For the second team, the question says, the or water represents about point of the human body. 90%, 30%, 20%, 70%. Hmm? Again, water, timer. Water represents about 90%. 30%, 20%, 70%. You will have 20 seconds after now, and you can ask. Who will answer? Kareem or Mirala? Hmm? Kareem, okay, Kareem, be ready. Be ready, Kareem. Don't be in rush. Take your time and understand the question carefully. Water represents about 90%, 30%, 20%, or 70% of your human of the of your body. You can answer now, Kareem. 70%. 70%. Very good. Excellent, Kareem. So water represents, as we know, 70% of our human body. And we know that water is a very, very important liquid for all the activities and the processes that happen inside the human body. Can anyone say or tell me what are the importance of water? It uh, helps, helps us to live. Helps us to live. Why? Because... Uh, What does water do? What does water do? What does water do? What does water do? We have many importance. We have studied many, many importance of water. It helps uh, help, uh, the stomach to, uh, to, to digest the food. Very good. Water helps in digestion of food. Also, water helps in absorption of food and other processes. It helps in Very, very important processes. That water. Sweating. Very good. Excretion of the sweat. Uh, it uh, help. Uh, it help to uh, uh, mm. regulate the body temperature. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, damage the brain. It 
it damages the brain or protect the brain from damage. It protects the brain from damage. It uh, it is a very important component in the blood. Hey, mukawm fi dam, the main at himaya, and all our body constitutes of water. كل جسمنا بيكون فعلا من ماء because water is very important and all the processes. كل العمليات في جسمنا تحصل عن طريق الوتر. Okay, so water is a very important liquid or or water is a very important material or substance for our body. And we know that water represents about 70% of our body. So, how many points do you have each team? Second team? Seven points? First team? Seven points. Okay, another question. The question says, the liquid used in the thermometer for the first team. The liquid used in the thermometer, we have started this lesson in primary six. Okay, or I just read out again. Water, bromine, mercury, iodine solution. يعني مين هو السائل بيستخدم في الثيرمومتر؟ واتر الميه، بروماين سائل بروم، ميركوري، الزئبق، ايوداين سوليوشن، محلول اليود. So let's start the timer now. The question says again: the liquid used in the thermometers, water, بروماين، ميركوري، ايوداين سوليوشن. Yes. Which who will who will answer the question? Matthew or Saif? Yeah, Matthew. He will answer after 17 seconds. Again, the question says, the liquid used in the thermometer is water, bromine, mercury, iodine solution. Again, the question says, the liquid used in the thermometer, water, bromine, mercury, iodine solution. You can answer now, Matthew. Uh, mercury. Mercury, yeah. Mercury is the liquid used in the thermometer, and we know why is why we choose mercury. Give us something mercury, but that's for the thermometer. Mm. Can anyone answer? Why uh, we don't use water? Uh, it's a liquid metal. We have at least four reasons. And it's even on the four reasons. I'm going to say mercury is a liquid metal. That's one reason from them. It's the only liquid metal. Hmm? It's a very, very accurate, good conductor of heat. How a muscle gets the heat very, very high. Another answer. Hmm? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, very good. It doesn't stick. Extra massive. It doesn't stick. To the glass tube of the or the capillary tube of the thermometer, يعني ما بتصفش بالزجاجة ال أو المبشرة عليها في الثيرمومتر. It's a liquid that doesn't stick to the glass tube. And also we have another reason or the last reason. Yeah. Concentrate. We have many reason, at least four reason for choosing mercury in the thermometer. Thermometer or the mercury study. Can be seen easily from the glass tube. يعني ممكن يتشاف بسهولة جدا من الجلاس تيوب. Opposite to water, ما يلا حطيتها جوا في المونتر مش هتبين بسهولة طبعا. Because water is transparent, but mercury is a silvery shine metal, a silvery shine liquid metal that can be seen easily from the glass tube or the capillary tube of the thermometer. Okay. So now, how many points first team? Eight. Eight. How many points of second team? Seven. Okay. So now the turn of the second team. The question says the device changes mechanical energy into electric energy. Okay, again, the question says a device changes mechanical energy into electric energy. Concentrate, second team, safe and Mirolla, who will answer? Mirolla, okay. Dynamo, solar cell, electric motor, electromagnet. We know that dynamo is a generator. Dynamo is a generator, solar cell, electric motor. Electromagnet means how it will power the mechanical energy or the mechanical energy or the mechanical energy into electric energy to power the electricity. Dynamo, our model of electricity. Solar cell, solar energy. Electric motor, motor of electricity. Electromagnet. Okay, take your time, Rolla. You will have 15 seconds from now. Great. I want a device. It has to power mechanical into electric. Okay, or electric into electric. Mechanical end to electric or kinetic end to electric. So you can answer now, Mirolla? Dynamo. Okay, so it will be the dynamo. It will be the dynamo. So again, the device changes mechanical energy into electric energy. It will be the dynamo. So the second team will now have how many points? Eight. Eight points. See, please don't touch the mic, okay? <laughs> okay, so again, device changes mechanical energy into the electric energy. It will be the dynamo or generator. So I want another device which is out to this device. Mean how I guess it lacks dynamo tanaman. Focus, Shwaya. And then we have mechanical into electric. Mean how the device is electric into mechanical? 
Yes, motor very good, Karim. Excellent. Electric motor is the opposite device to the dynamo. It changes the electric energy into mechanical energy. But what about the dynamo? Again, dynamo or generator, um, while the kohrabi, it changes the mechanical energy into electric energy. Okay, so you will have how many points now? Eight. Eight points. First team, how many Eight. points? Eight. Eight. Okay. So, another question for the first team. A device changes electric energy into magnetic energy. It has to be how will first team Matthew and say who will answer from the from you? Me. Yeah. Okay. A device. A device changes electric energy into magnetic. So Matthew will answer now. Dynamo, solar cell, electric motor, electromagnet. Take your time. You will have 30 seconds from now. You know, I guess we have electric and to magnetic. Electric and to magnetic. Dynamo, solar cell, electric motor, electromagnet. Take your time. Again, the question says a device changes electric energy into magnetic energy. It will be the dynamo, solar cell, electric motor, or the electromagnet. Hmm? Uh, electromagnet. Very good, excellent. So I'll have to even high enough so the only mean how a device that you have electric and to magnetic so it will be the electromagnetic device. I will divide the mean and magnetic magnet. So can anyone tell me what are the components of the electromagnet? Do you remember? Can you can become an electromagnet? That is not a primary five. Hmm? Can three parts? Lamp, wire. Not lamp. Hmm. Wire, okay. Wire, uh, wire, battery. wire. Battery, very battery. good. Karim, And another very simple part. Goes about it, Uh, Wire. No. Coil? Safe said wire. Wire is a coil. Magnet? No. I, I will have electromagnet. I'm going to use magnet. I'm not going to use magnet. It will be an iron nail. When I'm going to iron nail, it's smart. Coil wire, I'm going to silk or copper coil wire. And at last, the battery. And if we wrap the coil wire around the iron nail, we will have and connect them to the battery or the dry cell, we will have the electromagnet at last. You can have the thing called electromagnet. And we know that electromagnet is used in what? Can you use the electromagnet? Many uses. Can you use the electromagnet? Electromagnet is used in? electricity. Generate electricity? No, okay. it's electromagnet. It isn't a generator. Hmm? Electromagnet is used in electric bell, gas kahrabi, crane or winch, winch or crane. Hmm? Also used in microphone. The microphone in front of you, inside it we will find electromagnet. Okay? So we will have studied electromagnet in primary five, and we know it changes what to what? How will it? How will electric into hmm? magnetic? magnetic. And it consists of three main parts, which are iron nail, coil copper, or copper coil wire, and at last, dry cell. And it's, it's used in many use in our daily life, like microphone, like electric bell, like winch or crane. So, how many points do you have first team? Nine. Nine points? Okay. Second team? Eight. Eight, Eight points. Okay. So, the question says, for the second team, a component of the blood that attacks microbes and increases the immunity of the body. Component of the blood. We have four things in the blood. Or four components. Red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma, platelets. There is one of them that will be able to make a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit. Increase the immunity. So what is this component? Now you will have 20 seconds. You can answer, concentrate. Who will answer? Karim or Mirolla? Mirolla? Okay. Mirolla, be ready. You have time. 15 seconds from now. Again, the question says, a component of the blood that attacks microbes and increase the immunity of the body. Increase the immunity of the body. Again, the question says, Mirolla? White blood cells. White blood cells. We know that white blood cells is a component of the blood that increases the energy of the body and attacks microbe. Here we take a microbe, or we tell it that with maniacal gas. So, what is the function or what is the rule of red blood cells? Take it, my bad. Red blood cells. Red blood cells. It was a bit hot. 
تو جيف اول ذا بودي ذا بلاد جيف اول ذا اتس ا كومبارت اوف ذا بلاد اتس ا هي نوع جزء من الدم ات جيف ذا ذا اول ذا سيلز وات تو ذا بودي يعني بتدي سيلز ايه بقى يا سيف حاجه مهمه جدا او جاس مهم جدا اوكسجين اوكسجين فيري جود اكسلنت سو ذا ريد بلاد سيلز Uh, we can say it's the transferer or the converter of oxygen gas and also carbon dioxide gas. It transfers oxygen gas from all or from the lungs to all the body cells. And it transfers carbon dioxide gas from all the body cells to the lungs. هي ممكن نشبهها كده ان هي جرسون للجاسس او للغازات. Red blood cells بتودي oxygen للcells وتجيب منها carbon dioxide. White blood cells قلنا ان هي الجيش او هي المناعة بتاعتنا. So what about the plasma? حد يفكرني كده وظيفة البلازما ايه؟ Hmm. What is the function of the plasma? No, it isn't the function of the plasma. Hmm. Plasma carry what? Hey, we should have something about the garçon. We have to have the garçon for the house. You also have to have the garçon. The plasma is also going to have the garçon. It's going Plasma is going to have the food. It's going to have the food. It's going to have the wastes. من اجزاء الجسم كلها للاكسكراتري اورجنز لاعضاء الاخراج عشان كده ممكن نشبه البلازما ان هي جرسون بس للفود او الويس زي الجرسون بيجيب لي اكل في المطعم وبعد شويه بيشيل الاطباء الفاضيه اتفقنا لكن البليتلز زي ما ماسيو قال هي اللي بتقوم بعمليه بلاد كواجيوليشن او بلاد كلوت يعني تجلط الدم تجلط الدم او بتمنع النزيف لو في حد كده واندد اتجرح جرح بسيط البلاد بليتلز هي اللي بتمنع النزيف اوكي So now we'll have a very important question. So I'm going to get the answer. So I'll start. So I'll start. I'm going to be on the IQ exams. Are you IQ exams or not? Yeah, IQ exams. Ask questions. Is it correct? So I'll start. We're going to know who the winner team. So we'll start with the winner. Now, if you have eleven biology questions, eleven biology equals four. 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 13 by 13 equal what? 14. 14? Yeah. 14. Why? It was a, um, 11 times 11 equal 4. A 12 times 12 equal 9. Equal 9. The difference by, uh, from 9, 9 to 4 is 5. So, no, so it no, would no. be 15. 14. Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Matthew, please. Uh, Mirola said that what? 13 by 13 equal what? The difference between 9 and 4 is 5. Mm. Uh, you so add, you add five you to add four. Five, yeah. No, a strong Mirola. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Do we what, Matthew, first thing? Me? Uh, we'll make uh, uh, three. The 11 is one and one equal two. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, by 11 is uh, two also. Yeah. And uh, two by two equal four. Yeah, very good. Uh, 12 exact. by 12, one plus two equals three. Three by three by equals three equal nine. nine. So the last one will pay. Uh, three see. by three, six. Uh, and we will put the one. Uh, No, 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 not three. No. One plus three equal four. Four, uh, four, four. by four equal uh, 16. 16. So the winner today, the winner team is the first team. Hard luck for the, the first team and many congratulations to the first team to have won the competition today. And uh, I said before, the aim of this competition, is not to know the winner or the loser. Uh, the aim is to read more, to remember what we had studied, to have fun. Uh, to enjoy our time, okay? So I advise you, please read more, read what you have studied, and read in all branches of science, in all branches of knowledge, in all branches of information, because it's very important, very important for your life, for your future. So again, that I congratulate the first team, Mohamed Fareel Faiz, Fareel, Fareel Awal, Matthew and uh, Seif. They won the uh, speed question, so I'll start with the first And hard luck for the second team. Thank you very much, Karim. And Mirala, uh, I'm so happy today with you. Uh, and now I'm afraid we have reached the end of this episode. And I promise you we will have another episode uh, to have another competition with you or with uh, our old friends in all Egypt. So thank you and goodbye.